and again, uh, it's been a long time, obviously, uh, it's been months since I last made a video. What I actually wanted to do today was, um, well obviously as, as the title on this video, <laughs> um, I wanted to show you something I've been getting into recently in the time. Um, it's been since I've last seen you, which is perfumes. Um, I've been really interested in collecting perfumes and I've got a few just here to show you. Um, I don't have like a huge, huge collection like some people do just yet because I've not been collecting for very long. Um, but I have, I don't know, like 10, 11, something like that. Now, uh, I think I'll show you first the first one that I ever got on here that I still have, um, which is this one. Um, I got this a long time ago and I don't really wear this anymore. Um, it's Harajuku Brothers Music. Um, I really liked this when I got it. Uh, it was a gift from my ex's mum. <laughs> um, it has a cute bottle of a lady. Um, but yeah, I don't really wear this now because it's just not really, it doesn't really suit me that much. The next one is this one, which I can't remember if I got this myself or if I got it as a gift. Hmm. I think I got it myself. But this was a while ago as well. Um, and this is Dot by Mark Jacobs. Um, as you can see, I've used quite a lot of it. So. I do like how this one smells, um, and I like the packaging, so when this one goes completely I probably will get it again. Um, it's kind of, I don't know, kind of musky I suppose? I'm not very good at uh, explaining fragrances. I like the cute packaging. I don't like the packaging on the rig on the bigger bottle, which is why I've got the smaller one. Because um, the bigger one has all this weird, like, large flower stuff on it, and I I don't like that. I like it to be kind of cute and small and balanced. And this one has like a little butterfly thing, which is nice. Um, so I like that one still. I do wear that sometimes. Um, the next one I got after that, I asked for this one. Uh, uh, sorry, I asked for this one as a gift as a gift from my parents, and they got it for me. I was like, I specifically want this one because I smelled it um, in the store, and I just really loved how it smelled. It smells very clean, and powdery. Um, and fresh. Oh, it just smells really good. If you don't like talcum powder smells, you probably won't like this. Um, but if you do, then definitely check it out. Um, I always recommend if you're going to try a new perfume, try it before you buy it. But um, then sometimes I don't take my own advice, so whatever you feel comfortable doing. <laughs> um, and this one, I just keep this one in its box. I, sh I stupidly threw away the inside packaging though, so it's kind of rolls around in there. But um, with all my nicer perfumes now, I like to keep the box and just put it in the box and keep it in there. Um, just because then the uh, the sunlight doesn't get to the, the juice. Because um, light and heat can basically um, make your perfume go bad, and if you keep it away from light and heat, then it will stay nice for longer. Uh, this one is Versace Bright Crystal, and I bought this for myself this year. Um, 
and if any of you met, well I'm sure you know Maria aka Gentle Whispering, she um, had this perfume on her um, kind of recommendations for perfumes. Um, this is her favourite one and I wanted to try it out so I tried it out in store and I was like oh my god she's so right it smells awesome it's just delicious um, it just smells really good um, I really like the packaging it feels really nice it's really cute um, and the perfume smells really good that's the next one I got which is uh, Nina Ricci Le de Temps. De Temps? I don't know, I don't speak French. Um, and again, I'm keeping it in the box. I actually bought this perfume for my friend, but I, because I tried it in the store as well, on the tester, and I really liked it. I was just, I just kept thinking, I really want a bottle of that for myself too because it just smells really nice but I don't know it's it's weird it's like I think it just doesn't go in nicely on my skin chemistry or something because I spray it on card and it smells really good but then when I spray it on myself it, ooh, that made a strange noise um it, yeah it just smells a bit different on me um so yeah, just not, it doesn't smell as good on, on me. So really I should have tried it on myself, not just on the tester. Um, but I don't know, it might, it might be one of those things where I can just spray it on a scarf or something and it'll be fine, rather than spraying it on my actual skin. Um, so I might try that, see how we go. Well, actually, I didn't get these at the same time, but I've got these in the past couple of weeks. And these two are both from the same company. Um, this one is the April Violets and this one is Iris. And this one's in the larger size because um, it worked out cheaper to get the larger size. But looking back on it, I wish I'd got the larger size of this one and the smaller size of this one. This one smells just like uh, Palmer Violet sweets that I used to have when I was a kid. So it just smells really kind of uh, nostalgic for me. Um, the I've been keeping it in the box even though these aren't particularly expensive ones. Um, but this is this one, and this is a I think it's fifty mil. Uh, yeah, fifty mil. And this one is the hundred mil. And it's, the, the bottle is exactly the same, it's just larger. Um, and obviously this one's iris. This one, I have to layer this one with another perfume to make it smell good to me because it's just too a little too fresh. Although it might just be because now it's autumn, so maybe I'll prefer it in the springtime. But this one is really good. And it has a lot of lasting power as well. So if you like violet smelling things, or like those sweets, if you liked them as a kid, you might like that. Um, now this one, Taylor of London one, I got this at the same time as this one. Um, this one I wasn't really that, that impressed off with. Um, it's called Creamy Vanilla Orchid. And I thought it was going to smell like vanilla. To me it doesn't smell like vanilla at all. I mean it smells nice, but it doesn't smell like vanilla. It just smells like a kind of nice perfumey kind of smell, but not vanilla. At first that you just get the kind of alcohol smell yeah it doesn't smell like vanilla at all to me so I was really disappointed again this was a blind buy um, these were all blind buys 
this one I was pleased with. I was happy with what I got with this one. This one, not so much. Maybe it will grow on me and I'll think, well, it's not a vanilla fragrance, just don't think of it as vanilla. And then I'll like it or something. Um, oh yeah, I missed this one. This is one I have that's just a small one. Um, I keep it in my purse. It's uh, Mr. God Essentials. Had this for a little while. Um, I really like this one, so I'm gonna get a full size bottle at some stage. Um, this one again just smells really good. Um, and I think it's more of a evening y scent. Next ones I got are these two, and they are from Boots, and they're the Library of Fragrance. Um, ones and I got these in the sale. They were on clearance and they were half price, so I got them instead of being fifteen pounds each. They were fifteen for both. So, um, and they both smell really good on their own or together. Um, this one smells like exactly like fresh cut ginger. Um, this one it's called Four Leaf Clover, and it smells kind of like clover and grass. Um, and when I was little I used to look for four leaf clovers all the time and I'd often find quite a few. Um, I was a weird kid and this just reminds me of sitting in, on the grass looking for four leaf clovers. Um, so I like this one and if you mix them together it gives them a little bit more depth. So I like them. The last one I'm going to show you. Um, is the, one of the more re most recent ones I've got, which is my own. Oh, sorry, that's a nasty sound opening this box. This is my only um, celebrity scent that I have, and it's Lady Gaga Fame. I'm not a huge fan of Lady Gaga or anything. I mean, she's okay. I don't have a problem with her. I think she's a bit weird. Maybe that's why. I don't have a problem with her. <laughs> I don't know. But I thought I'd try the perfume out because it sounded interesting and the bottle looks really freaking cool. I mean, I don't like gold in particular, but this is okay. And the, the, the juice is black. I mean, that's kind of gimmicky, but I kind of like it. <laughs> um, it smells really good. Um, I'm wearing it today, um, it's been on for a little while, it's not that strong anymore, but it's still there, it's been on, I guess, for six hours or so, and it's still faintly there. So, I mean, the lasting power isn't great. But I think it's just a technically an oh no it is eau de parfum so it's not that it's not that long lasting but I mean I think it smells good and I am planning to, planning to get more um, so maybe as I get more perfumes I might um, show you those as well. Um, if you have any questions about any of the perfumes I've shown today, uh, just put them down below in the comments and I'm happy to answer any of them. Um, like where I got them and uh, how much I bought them for. I may not remember all of these, <laughs> but um, any questions, feel free to comment and don't forget to subscribe. And I think I'm going to leave it there for now, so I'll see you again soon. Um, and I'll obviously make a new video soon to explain where I've been and everything. And obviously my new setting. Again, another new setting. <laughs> so, uh, see you again.